Hey guys, welcome in. Today we're checking out the Burger Brow Alfin stuff. Do you like my accent? <laughs> So this beer is, we don't know what it is. It's Bavarian, imported from Germany, we know that. Uh, it says Unser Burgerbrau uh, on it. And you know, funnily, um, so I just went to the grocery store and bought some beer and it had this little label on it that I've never seen before. And it was like a geographical, uh, like it was a Kolsch and it was like geographically accurate to what Kolsch needs to be. In Col it was brewed in Cologne, mm -hmm. brewed in this radius. Um, and this one has what looks to be this, I didn't double check, but it looks like the same symbol. So mm. I'm wondering if this is actually really close to where that other brewery uh, produces their beer. I don't know. Um, I, it says, it's so tiny, it's barely. Yeah, and it's all in German. Legible, and it's all in German. It says something, organization of geographical, I don't know what that word is, but yeah, it's good luck. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's read from the app and see what the app says. Yeah, it's bright and brightly filtered. The beer has the aroma of Alpine Meadow. The first sip is a delight. You dream yourself to Bavaria. I, I do. You dream of the beauty of the Alps, of bearded men in Lederhosen, and beautiful women in Dern, Durndles. Dr Drundles? Drandles? D Durndles? I, I Durndles? know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know I, how to say it. I guess that's how you spell it. Wonderful Bavaria, you. <laughs> With your centuries old brewing tradition, we love you and your beer. Well, Bavaria, cheers to you, I Let's guess. Let's hope it's great. Let's hope this uh, somehow teleports me to Bavaria. Uh, and I think of the hills are alive <laughs> and the sound of music. There's only one beer I think of when I hear that song in my head. That's true. Well, it pours with a really nice one finger head really white um looks like it's got some some good lacing too look at that yeah look at how clear that is that is Man. like super filtered it's nice yeah and it has a nice like dense head nice lacy i don't know i've got some little floaties in there but they all look like oh, good really? floaties yeah a little bit maybe my poor oh yeah this is super clear what the hell yeah. happened to mine all right well let's sniff it and see what we smell to be honest it uh it smells like a lager again yeah, but I'm not getting those esters. Yeah, it's not very estery at all. It's very malty. Um, I say this is very biscuity. Yeah. Not a lot of grass or hay or anything like that, but it's just like a bready biscuit type of thing. This smells on. good though. This it smells, smells like malty as shit. Okay, well, let's dive in. I don't know. Cheers. Yeah, no, you know what? That's passable. That is good. That's pretty good. It's got mm. a good like sweet honey thing. Um, it's a little grapey. Yep. It's got a nice dry, crisp finish. Not as crisp as say a Pilsner or something like that along the lines of um, something snappy or like a Czech Pilsner or anything, but it's definitely got like for a lager, that's clean. But compared that to the, good. yeah, compared to the last one, which was just a lager, this one's like definitely better. Mm -hmm. It's a cleaner taste. It has yes. all the same flavors in it. It's just a very cleanly done, uh, product. It this definitely tastes like just better, better beer, better, better quality. brewed yeah. beer, better quality for sure, hundred sure. percent. Yeah. Am I teleported to Bavaria? Yeah, yeah maybe. I mean, a little bit. Depends yeah. what day it is, I guess. But that's, no, this... that's some serious magic right there in that glass. If that's yeah. gonna pop me into I Bavaria. Wish. All right, guys. Well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, Avita Zing and stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.